Heavenly Father, we thank you for this gathering together. Lord, this gathering together is unto you. We thank you for the time of worship wherein we could minister to you, Lord. Worship you and acknowledge you as the God of our lives. We could do that together with even dear brother Suresh and sister Tina. We thank you, Lord, for this day that you ordained for these lives that they may be joined together in holy wedlock. And we understand in the light of your word, this has to be done by thee and thee alone. And therefore, Lord, we turn to your word at this time that you would really minister to all of us and especially to dear brother Suresh and also to sister Tina your precious counsel to God and help all of us who have gathered here to hear your word And a God on the foundation of thyself and thy word, these two lives may be joined together and their family life will begin on the foundation of Jesus Christ, the Lord of their lives. A God, therefore, we trust in thee. This is not man's doing. This is the work of the eternal God. We are feeble men, weak, but we are those who receive grace from above. And therefore, Lord, we seek thee this time for thy grace to be poured out on all of us. Pray for special grace to be poured out on me and my brother. As we stand here, O God, to share thy word. Energize us. Strengthen us both in the physical and in the spiritual. Grant us words, expressions, utterances. And every grace we need, O God, to share thy counsels as you have laid upon our hearts. So we trust in thee fully and completely that you would lead us in this service. Holy Spirit, empower us to this end that you may be glorified in the midst of us. That these lives may be joined together for the furtherance of your kingdom, your purpose in and through their lives as well. So we thank you, Lord, once again. We bow before thee, we worship thee, we bless thee. Lead us, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We heard from the time of introduction and also during the time of testimony and also uh, uh, when our dear brother uh, led us in worship that marriage was something that God instituted. God instituted this on the earth 
Although it is a heavenly thought, and also at a time when man was in innocence, man was in innocence. God joined two lives together and instituted marriage on the earth. Although it is a heavenly thought. And we read that in the book of Genesis chapter 2 verse 18 to 24. Uh, quickly, we would read that only um, could you read that in Hindi? Because major, many of the, us are from Hindi background. मैं उसके लिए एक ऐसा सहायक बनाऊंगा जो उससे नेक है और यहोवा परमेश्वर भूमि में से सब जाति के बने हुए पशुओं और आकाश के सब हाथी के पक्षियों को रख कर आदम के पास ले आया कि देखे मैं उनका क्या क्या नाम रखता है और जिस जीवित प्राणी का जो नाम आदम ने रखा वही उसका नाम हो गया अतः आदम ने सब जाति के घरेलू पशुओं और आकाश के पक्षियों और सब जाति के बने हुए पशुओं के नाम रखे Yes. So here we find that God instituted marriage on the earth. Although it was a heavenly thought. And man was in innocent state. Now we see the Lord Jesus Christ speaking these verses in Matthew chapter 19. Yes. The book of Matthew chapter 19. And I would like to read from the Living Bible translation this time. Matthew 19 verses 4 and 5. Don't you read the scriptures? He replied. In them it is written that at the beginning God created man and woman. And that a man should leave his father and mother and be forever united to his why? The two shall become one, no longer two but one, and no man may divorce what God has joined together. That no man may divorce what God has joined together. Now this is what Jesus spoke, taking this very scripture from Genesis chapter 2. Yes. yes. So we see the original charter in Genesis chapter 2. Correct. Which was confirmed by the Lord Jesus Christ Himself. And it was on the basis of this, every revelation, every uh, uh, principle of marriage to be framed for a true child of God. Yes. Yes. 
Yes. For a true disciple of Jesus Christ. For a true Christian. You know, marriage has to be everything about marriage, concerning marriage, will have to be framed around this original thought. Yes. Yes. Now, what importance is given to true Christian marriage? Yes. Now, when we turn to the Bible again, as God instituted marriage, and, and it is recorded in the Bible, this is the oldest institution, as old as man is. Marriage did, not, marriage did not originate in man. It was not invented by man. But it was from the heart of God. It's a heavenly thought which was performed on the earth. So, uh, may we listen carefully, despite the absence of uh, the sound system. Sound system नहीं उसके बावजूद भी हम ध्यान से सुने. Yes. So may God help us uh, to understand on what basis we are going to have this marriage today. तो हम इस बात को समझने की चेष्टा करें कि किस आधार पे हम आज की विवाह को हम संपन्न करें। You know, it's not something what we do will join these lives together. ये ऐसा कुछ नहीं है जो हम लोग यहाँ करेंगे जिनसे इनके दोनों के जीवन जुड़ जाएंगे। You know, we can do a lot of things. हम बहुत सी। In a marriage ceremony, many things are being done. आजकल विवाह समारोह में बहुत तरह की बातें होती हैं। Things being done cannot join these lives. It is God who can join these lives together. And how will He do that? In and through the Word of God. So this is not a system of man. And so please listen carefully. Yes, we need your cooperation. Marriage today is reduced to many things by man. It's become something for man and unto man and everything for man. You know, but that is not what the Bible says. So please listen carefully, my dear brother. Suresh and Sister Tina. And everyone else, if you really love the Lord and want to know what the scripture speaks about it. Yes. Now, turn with me to the book of Hebrews chapter 13. Yes. Hebrews chapter 13. And verse 3. Uh, uh, sorry, verse 4. Yeah. Marriage is honorable in all, and the bed undefiled, but whoremongers and adulterers God will judge. Yes. Yes. Marriage should be honored by all. And marriage bed kept pure. For God will judge adulterer and sexually immoral. 
क्योंकि परमेश्वर व्यभिचार करने वालों और से The living, the living Bible translation says, "Honor your marriage and its vows." You know, very soon, Suresh and Tina, you both are going to make declarations, pledges, and vows. So the word of God says, "Honor your marriage and your vows." And be pure, for God will surely punish all those who are immoral and commit adultery. Yes. So we see, this is how God looks at marriage. So, Parmeshwar Devan ko kis tarah se dekha? This is how God wants us to look at marriage. Or Parmeshwar, ye bhi chahta hai ki hum bhi Devan ko kis tarah se dekhe? You know, our Lord corrected many false notions that existed when Jesus Christ was upon this earth. जब प्रमेश्वर के पास से धरती के ऊपर गए तो उन्होंने विवाह के विषय में जो कई गलत त्रुटिपूर्ण जो विचार आने लगे थे दुनिया में यू नो देयर आर मेनी पीपल विद रॉन्ग अंडरस्टैंडिंग एंड नोशंस अबाउट मैरिज व्हेन जीसस क्राइस्ट वाज अपॉन दिस अर्थ उनको सही क्या पता तो जब प्रमेश्वर के धरती पे थे तो बहुत से लोग थे जिनको विवाह के विषय में गलत कह रहे थे Now, to give you one or two example, it would all take a long time to show everything. But Matthew chapter twenty-two. You know, we read here how some Sadducees came to Jesus Christ. और हम देखते हैं कि कैसे तो के के पास आए। uh, verse 24, 23 on, which say that there is no resurrection and ask them. You can read in Hindi straight away. Yep. Verse 23 till 20, uh, 29. उसी 30, 30 yeah. उसी दिन सदू की जो कहते हैं कि मरे हुए का पुनर्धन है ही नहीं उसके पास आए यानी प्रभु ईश्वर से के पास आए और उससे पूछा हे गुरु मूसा ने कहा था कि यदि कोई पुरुष बिना संतान मर जाए तो उसका भाई उसकी पत्नी से विवाह करके अपने भाई के विवाह चुपन करे अब हमारे यहाँ सात भाई थे पहला विवाह करके मर गया और संतान न होने के कारण अपनी पत्नी को अपने भाई के लिए छोड़ गया इसी प्रकार दूसरे और तीसरे ने भी किया और और सातों तक यही हुआ सबके बाद वह स्त्री भी मर गई अतः जी उठने पर वह उन सातों में से किसकी पत्नी होगी क्योंकि वह सबकी पत्नी हो चुकी थी यीशु ने उन्हें उत्तर दिया तुम पवित्र शास्त्र और परमेश्वर की सामर्थ्य नहीं जानते इस कारण भूल में पड़े हो क्योंकि जी उठने पर वे न विवाह करेंगे और न विवाह में दिए जाएंगे Yeah. Now, in the days of Jesus Christ, there are several people who had wrong understanding and notions about marriage. The Lord, the Lord corrected them, as we saw also from the book of Matthew 19. You know, the Lord made very clear. Let no man divorce them whom God has joined. कि जिनको परमेश्वर ने जोड़ा है उनको और क्या लगने लगे? Here they had some other questions. यहाँ भी कुछ सवाल थे इनके पास. But the Lord placed marriage as a divine institution on the highest grounds. लेकिन परमेश्वर ने विवाह की संस्था को सर्वोच्च स्तर के ऊपर रखा. You know, and we see when we read the letters of the apostles. The Lord clearly made, uh, you know, uh, the the apostles made it very clear to the saints 
by placing the responsibilities and duties of the husband and wife on a higher ground as well. Yes, now for example, quickly turn to the book of Ephesians chapter 5, 22 and 23. For the husband is the head of the wife, even as Christ is the head of the church, he is the savior of the body. Therefore, as the church is subject unto Christ, so let the wives be to their own husbands in everything. So here we find again how through the apostles the Lord has raised up and shown the standard of husbands and wives in a Christian marriage. Yes. You know, chapter 3 of Colossians and verse 18 and 19, wives submit yourselves unto your own husbands as it, uh, as it is fit in the Lord, husbands love your wives and be not bitter against them. Yes. You know, so one thing is very clear in God's word. One thing is very clear in God's word. You know, the Lord made one thing very clear as we see that marriage is something much higher than what man could ever think of. Yes. You know, the marital or nuclear duties of the wife and the husband, we see that they are much higher because marriage itself is on a higher plane. It's a heavenly thought. Now, we also heard in our previous marriage uh, uh, services, we also heard today being expressed by our brethren. You know, marriage represents the union between God and His people. You know, so this original thought must be embedded in your hearts, Suresh and Tina. You know, so this is very important. This is the foundation. This is the pillar and ground where your life will have to be built. Yes. Your marriage is the picture of the union between God and His people. You know, we'll turn to Isaiah chapter 54. 54. And verse 5. Can you read that in Hindi to save time? So that our brothers from that background will understand it better. Yeah. You know, it's a very precious scripture. Yes. I think. For thy maker is thy husband. The Lord of hosts is 
his name. And the Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, the God, the whole earth, shall be he be called. Turn again with me to the book of Jeremiah. Jeremiah chapter 3. So many verses. Verse 14. Uh, at the same time. Yes. Turn, O backsliding children, say the Lord, for I am married unto you. I will take you one of a city and two of a family, and I will bring you to Zion. Now, when we turn to the book of Ephesians, we see how the Lord Jesus is pictured here and how the church is shown as his bride again, a picture of God and his people. Yes, 25 to 27, brother, please read. हे पत्नियों अपने अपने पति से प्रेम करो जैसा मसीह ने भी कलीसिया से प्रेम करके yes. अपने आप को उसके लिए दे दिया कि उसको वचन के द्वारा जल के स्नान से शुद्ध करके पवित्र बनाए यस सो वी सी हियर इन द ओल्ड टेस्टामेंट इट्स पिक्चर गॉड एंड हिज पीपल एज हस्बैंड एंड वाइफ एंड वी आल्सो सी इन द न्यू टेस्टामेंट क्राइस्ट एंड द चर्च when we turn to Revelation chapter 19 yes we read again the marriage of the lamb and the bride getting herself ready Yes, so we see here, uh, verse 9 also, please read. Mm. Yes, praise God. So we here see the picture of Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, and the bride, the church. So here we see Yes. So once again we see the higher picture of what marriage is in the sight of God. You know this is why marriage is not to be taken as something of man. You know, many a time people think like this. Now he is working. Now he is 28. और कभी के भी सोचता है एक चर्च में तो शादी बहुत दूर के बाद का बात है दूर का बात है वेर इज 
the standard that the Bible talks about when it comes to marriage. Many a time, the preparation is job, the preparation is the pay package, the preparation is everything else, not spiritual. Where is God? God comes in on the day of marriage and he is forgotten after the day of marriage. Some of them are already seated here who got married here. I mean, not in Rivari but in this fellowship. Marriage is a very good testimony. What is the name of the Bhagavad Gita? What is the name of the Bhagavad Gita? Please forgive me, others who are here. What is the name of the Bhagavad Gita? What is the name of the Bhagavad Gita? What is the name of the Bhagavad Gita? I want to be saying this faithfully. I am reminded of that. And those who have broken your covenants to God that you made before God, please repent. Please repent. See, as we, these vows are not only to one another, these vows are before God. Right, okay. Now, why did I read all these scriptures? To show us what really marriage is in the eyes of God. Marriage is not band baja and khana or suit wood. Yeh nahi hai marriage. As we shared in Manipur, in Imphal, marriage, it is not young people choosing to live together. That's not marriage. There is no vows. They came together to live together on mutual agreement. Mutual agreement broken after one year, they have gone their way. Is that marriage? Please, we have to change our minds and our attitudes when it comes to marriage. That's not marriage. That's why I took pain to read all these scriptures. There are many more scriptures. But by the time everybody will leave, so I am not reading all those verses. Please listen very carefully. You know, we, our minds have to be cleansed by the word of God. Our minds have to be renewed by the word of God. Look at the pathetic condition of families in the earth today. Look at family lives. Broken families. Look at the younger generation. I want to tell you one thing. The most advanced nations are not able to control when it comes to immoral immorality. Education could not. Technology could not. 
information technology could not whether rather it worsened it aur sushan kaam ke isme bhi kuch sudhar nahi kiya aur aur cheez ko kharab kar diya so most advanced nations in the world ahead of our country even they are trying to do what else can we do how immorality can be contained to hamare desh se bhi jara vaise desh jo hai wahan pe sabse badi samasya hai jinta is baat ki ki anarchy ko kaise nirman kiya jaye so what they have now found out is immorality immorality is given a better name better name better name aur aaj anarchy ko ek behtar naam de diya gaya hai because they could not change kyunki wo anarchy ko niyantran niyantrit to kar nahi sake to usko ek acha naam de diya gaya you will sin is given a better name paap ko ek behtar naam de diya gaya that is not deliverance from sin lekin paap ka naam badal dene se paap so let's get this clearly uh, right into our hearts dear brother suresh and sister tina that marriage is a heavenly thought to isliye bhai suresh aur bhai tina is baat ko aap instituted by god yahan pe baitha hai ki divine and represents god and his people aur ye parmeshwar usi logo ke dwar mein is the lamb and the bride the church mehna aur usi bulan kalisi and therefore or is the marriage should be honored by all therefore therefore because it's the lamb and the bride god and his people therefore marriage must be honorable to all aur is yes. the atah vivah ka aadar kiya jana chahiye Yes. So, if you are a S S S I, who Parmesha or his people, the Masi or his Kalisia, the Samanta, and it must be kept pure, and the vows also have to be fulfilled or done. Is the Vivah who Parmesha or his people will be done? Yes. Or the Pratigya or his people who are done. Remember, immediately after that, in Hebrews chapter thirteen and verse four says, God will judge who do not do that. और इसीलिए हमने अपनाने के लिए सुना कि परमेश्वर कहता है कि तुरंत कहता है वो विवाह के बाद विवाह करके विवाह का निशाना कि परमेश्वर न्याय करे यस सो प्लीज डियर सुरेश एंड टीना यू आर टू कीप योर वाउस विदाउट ब्रेकिंग देम अनटू गॉड एंड टू वन अनदर तो इसीलिए अपने भाई सुरेश और मैं टीना आप दोनों को Uh, yes. so, now, I would like to quickly go to now. I know the time is very short before us. Marriage is a permanent and a committed relationship. So, divorce is a sanatan kalka or a pratibhadita ka ek samman. Yes, the Living Bible says, and that a man shall leave will leave his father and mother. and be forever united to his wife or living transition ye kehta hai ki yeah. ek manushya apne mata aur pita ko chhod dega yes aur hamesha ke liye apni patni se mila lega the two shall become one aur wo do ek ho jayenge no longer two do aur ek do nahi hai but one in matrimony lekin vivah ke andar ek ho jayega and no man may divorce what god has joined together और जो परमेश्वर ने जोड़ दिया है जिनको उनको कोई भी मनुष्य नाउ रिमेंबर दिस वननेस इज अ प्रोग्रेसिव मैटर अगेन और ये जो एकता है ये भी एक प्रगतिशील विषय है यू आर जॉइंट टुगेदर आज आपको ऐसा जोड़ा जाएगा नाउ यू नीड टू बिगिन दिस लाइफ ऑफ लिविंग टुगेदर और आज से फिर आपको साथ रहने के जीवन की शुरुआत करनी है यू नो एंड देयर आर मेनी थिंग्स इन्वॉल्व्ड इज इन दिस लिविंग टुगेदर और साथ रहने में बहुत सी चीजें शामिल हैं नाउ आई नो दैट देयर इज नो टाइम टू एक्सप्लेन एवरीथिंग टू अस और मैं जानता हूं कि हमारा इतना समय बट रिमेंबर द ब्यूटीफुल इंस्ट्रूमेंट ऑफ गॉड फॉर दैट वननेस इज द क्रॉस लेकिन एक बात मैं जरूर बताना चाहूंगा कि आप उसे एकता बनाए रखने के लिए परमेश्वर की ओर से ठहराया गया जो एक बहुत खूबसूरत एक for all for any relationship kisi bhi sambandh ke liye whether between husband and wife 
or uh, any relationship in the family or any relations in the family of God which is the church remember it is the cross the instrumentality of the cross that will bring that oneness and quickly I want to move on that the true Christian marriage requires submission to God and to one another. Yes. Yes. Now that's very important. As we see in the book of Ephesians chapter 5 verse 22 to 24. Can you please read that in here? Yes. हे पत्नियों अपने अपने पति के अपने अपने पति के ऐसे अधीन हो जैसे प्रभु के जैसे प्रभु के क्योंकि पति पत्नी का सिर है जैसे कि मसीह कलीसिया का सिर है yes. और स्वयं भी देह का उद्धार करता है पर जैसे कलीसिया मसीह के अधीन है hmm. वैसे ही पत्नियां भी हर बात में अपने अपने पति के अधीन है yes. Now the living Bible says like this. You wives must submit to you, your husband's leadership in the same way you submit to the Lord. Yes. Yes. For a husband is in charge of his wife in the same way Christ is in charge of his body, the church. He gave his very life to take care of it and be its savior. So, you wives must willingly obey your husbands. In everything, just as the church obeys Christ. Amen. Now I know that this is not an easy thing. Yes. Submission is always difficult. But the wonderful picture we have here is of Christ and the church. Yes. Alright. So remember that your family life is a picture of Christ and the church. You know, so remember submission is an integral part of your family life. You know, Christ gave himself, that was his submission to the Father's will. Yes. Amen. He gave himself. And even so, the church should give give herself to the Lord Jesus. You know, now this is a very difficult subject even in families. So, you know, remember in the Bible you don't find an exemplary family to follow. You don't find that. Exemplary husband and wife. We can see some example in the Old Testament. Like Abraham and Sarah, Sarah called Abraham Lord. Yes. yes. But in the New Testament, no example. Why? 
See, Peter was married, but we don't know his wife's name. Mother in law fell sick. That we read. Paul, Paul was never married. Does it mean that New Testament doesn't give any importance to family life? Understand it clearly. You know, the wonderful example for the husband and wife is Christ Himself. Yes. 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 For a husband, the example is Christ. For wife, the example is Christ. Amen. Remember this. Christ is the head of man. And husband is the head of wife or man is the head of the woman. Amen. And Christ is submitted to the Father as we read in 1 Corinthians 11. That is God's government. So remember that where there is government of God, there's a real blessing. Where there is no government, there's confusion. Right? You both may be working. It doesn't depend upon your pay package. The headship is not decided by that, nor your family background. Okay, remember, Christ is your example, and Christ is your example. And you represent Christ and the church. And so submission is an integral part of your family life. You know, so it's very important to see this principle from the very first day. In other words, this foundation should be laid right here. Yes. yes. Please understand this. God's government is very important in a family life. God's government is very important even in the local church, which is the family of God. Yes. So I would urge you in the love of Christ today to seek the Lord. Why we need to submit is a greater example that we see in the Bible about marriage, which is a heavenly thought. Mm. Yes. Husbands must relate to, to their wives in great love, the scripture says. Exactly. We read that in Ephesians chapter 5. The Living Bible says like this, And you husbands, show the same kind of love to your wives as Christ showed, the, showed to the church when he died for her. Yes. You know, so we see here, you know, Christ is the example for our love for our wives. 
वैवाहिक जीवन में हमारे पति के पति से प्रेम के लिए जो उदाहरण है यस The the other thing I want to remind us today is, because marriage is a heavenly thought, husbands should honor their wives. और चूंकि विवाह एक स्वर्गीय विचार है, इसलिए पति को अपनी पत्नी की इज्जत भी करनी चाहिए. Yes. You know, one Peter chapter three. पहला पत्र सत्यार्थी. And verse seven. I would like to read from the Living Bible again. You husbands must be careful to your wives, being thoughtful of their needs and honoring them as weaker sex. Remember that you and your wife are partners in receiving God's blessing. You are partners in receiving God's blessings, and if you don't treat her. As you should, your prayers will not get ready answers. तो इसलिए हे पतियों आप अपने 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 पतियों से तुम्हें बुद्धिमानी से पतियों से जीवन निर्माण करो और स्त्री को निर्मल पात्र जानकर उसका आदर करो. Yes. So here we read very clearly, husbands should honor their wives. तो यहाँ बिल्कुल साफ़ तौर पे पढ़ते हैं कि पतियों को अपने अपने पतियों का आदर करना चाहिए। Yes, honouring them as weaker vessels। और उनकी इज्जत इस रूप में करें कि वो मेरे से So as we have shared before, if one is weaker, one is weak। तो जब ये एक कंपेयरेबल यहाँ पे वर्ड को काम किया गया है, तो एक अगर वीकर है, तो वीक होगा। Man always says that woman is weaker। पुरुष हमेशा कहता है कि इसकी तो कमजोर होती है। ये तो वीकर है, वीकर। मेरे से कमजोर है। But he doesn't realize he is weak. पर तो ये कुछ भी सोचता है, कुछ भी कमजोर तो वो भी है, वो उससे ज़्यादा है। Only कमजोर बोल सकता है, वो और कमजोर है, right? So we see that man is weak, and in comparison, she is weaker. तो हम देखते हैं कि पुरुष कमजोर होता है, और उसकी पत्नी उससे भी अधिक कमजोर है। So the Lord says the कमजोर to love कमजोरी, right? तो मेरा ये भी इतना अच्छा नहीं है फिर भी तो फाइट। कमजोर है, अपने से तो ज़्यादा कमजोर है उससे बेहतर है। Yes, this is God's word. ये परमिशन। And then he goes on to say, remember that you and your wife are partners in receiving God's blessings. और वचन ये भी कहता है कि आप और आपकी पत्नी परमिशन की आशीष पाने में आप लोग साथी हैं संगी। If you don't treat her as you should, और अगर आप अपनी पत्नी को वैसा उसके साथ वैसा व्यवहार नहीं करते जैसा आपको करना चाहिए, your prayers will not get ready answers. तो आपकी प्रार्थनाओं को तुरंत उत्तर नहीं मिलेगा। Okay, Suresh. Don't blame anybody when the prayer is not answered. Don't blame your wife. Because of you, God is not answering. The Bible says, the answer is not coming because of you. Right? Yeah. Please. He is enjoying the message. He is wondering how many answers have not been prayed. You know, prayers have not been answered. That's right. Don't worry, brother. Please stand still. So, if you have a problem, you have a problem. See, many a time, husband and wife, we don't realize why our prayers are not answered. So, many times, husband and wife, we don't realize why our prayers are not answered. And finally, all the blame is on the pastor. He is the he is the trash bin. You know, put all the blame. Remember one thing: your prayers are not answered because of something amongst us. We have we have not honored our marriage. We have not honored our vows we made in the presence of God. 
और हमने परमेश्वर की उपस्थिति में जो प्रतिज्ञाएं ले ली थी कि उनका हमें आदर निर्देश सुरेश एंड सिस्टर तेरा आप दोनों को छोड़ेंगे नहीं प्लीज आई एम वेरी सीरियस अबाउट इट यू शुड बी सीरियस अबाउट योर वॉस एंड यू विल सी गॉड ब्लेसिंग नोट एस द वर्ल्ड सीक्स आफ्टर ब्लेसिंग But, you know the the real blessing which is eternal god's purpose being fulfilled in your life and through your life aur sabse badi aashish ye hai ki parmeshwar ka jo sanatan karma ka uddeshya hai yes wo aap dono ke vyavahik jeevan ke dwara pura ho you know and i would encourage both of you therefore be serious this morning don't be worried about all who are sitting here be concerned about god god's word and the vows you are going to make in the light of god's word to isme main aap dono ko bhai se shukriya karta hu you know one thing aap is samay se parmeshwar aur uski samne jo bhi pratigya hai unke prati aap se soche you know we do not we do not realize the solemnity and how honorable marriage is in the sight of god kyunki hame kai bar ehsaas nahi hota ki विवाह कितना एक गंभीर विषय इट्स अ हेवनली थॉट ये स्वर्गीय विचार एंड दैट्स व्हाई गॉड गिव्स सच एन इंपॉर्टेंस टू इट और इसीलिए परमेश्वर ने इसको अपने बच्चों में इतना महत्व दिया इट्स नॉट ओनली जस्ट टू पीपल लिविंग टुगेदर ये सिर्फ दो लोगों के साथ रहना मात्र नहीं है इट्स मच मोर मे गॉड क्लेंसेस फ्रॉम ऑल दैट ह्यूमन थॉट्स दैट हैव एक्यूमुलेटेड इन अस Now I want to take us to the book of First, um, Second Corinthians, and Chapter Eleven. You know, it, it's a wonderful scripture again. Second Corinthians, Chapter Eleven. Um, and verse two. For I am jealous over you with godly jealousy, for I have espoused you to one husband, that I may present you as a chaste virgin to Christ. क्योंकि मैं तुम्हारे विषय में ईश्वर के दूर लगाए रहता हूँ, ईश्वर के दूर लगाए रहता हूँ, इसलिए कि मैंने एक ही पुरुष से तुम्हारी बात लगाई है कि तुम्हें पवित्र कुवारी के समान मसीह हो सके। Amen. Now let's just bring our attention to this verse. God has promised a virgin to Christ, a virgin. So, Parmeshwar Kalisya ki tulna ek kuwari se karta hai. Yes, God has promised a virgin to Christ or for Christ. Parmeshwar ne Masih apne putra ko ek kuwari tulna dene ka vada kiya. Vada kiya, kuwari. Not somebody who is loafing around in the world, but yes. a virgin. Yes. God has promised a virgin for Christ. Yes. What a solemn thought that is. And. You both are called to be part of that virgin company. And therefore, Paul says, the espousal has happened, the, the engagement has happened. Amen. Now there's a presenting you as a virgin. Amen. Just think about your marriage today, right? Today, she is being present, and you are also present here. So, आज जब आपने विवाह के विषय में सोचे कि वो आपको सो ये कि आप दोनों में से Remember, this is our calling in Christ, amen. So, Suresh, Sina, always remember that. Today, your marriage will be over. You will be, you know, coming into the consummation of your marriage. 
and you will live your married life everybody is happy everybody will give you gifts and everybody will say let's have pictures and everybody will go there several ways but one thing you have to remember you are part of that company who are to be presented as a virgin for Christ now you both are together earlier you were separate Amen. now together you are to endeavor and continue to move on as part of that company now what does that mean so your lives as members of the local church matters much Please. it should not be where is Suresh JP says I don't know no idea before he is to inform me but after sister Tina came no idea please there are people smiling here but this is happening in some lives let me tell you that should not happen okay marriage is a beginning where you both need to be conscious that you are called to be the company of the virgin amen together with the local brothers and sisters you are to be part of that virgin company until the day that we shall be presented before the Lamb. Amen? Amen? Very, very important, brother. Suresh and Sister Tina, your commitments are important. Yes. Okay. As part of the local church, you must grow and be part of that bridal company that God is preparing on the earth. Amen. Amen. Very important very very important so it's not a matter today the marriage is over and you begin your family life and you're very happy you're thankful to God thankful to everybody else not enough everybody was blessed Everybody was very happy. No use. You are to be part of that company, that bridal company, being part of the local church. You know, so I would, I would like to say here, your commitment to the local church is very, very important. Whether you are in Vaisai or you are in Rivadi, or you are in Delhi? I don't know. I don't know why I'm telling Delhi. Right, okay. Or wherever you are placed by God. Yeah. Yes. And I want to say this word to everybody who are married in this fellowship. How is your commitment to the local church? Yes. 
please allow the Holy Spirit to speak to you. I, I want to say I am very sad about many. They are good people. But not good enough to be part of that company. Because their priorities are not God-centered. So please be open to God's word today morning. Now as God is going to, you know, uh, has promised a virgin for Christ, our lives are important. How we live. So, yes. How we live in the family, what our priorities are, all this would matter because we are part of that bridal company. You know, so one thing I want to share with you is that settle your misunderstandings fast. Now, do you both confess you are coming together in God's will? And you will always find there are two wills still prevailing. <laughs> you know, there's a will of Suresh, the will of Tina. You know, and God will work in our lives. You know, Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 26, quickly, it says, you know, I am reading from the Living Bible. It says, if you are angry, doesn't sin by nursing your grudges. Hmm. If you are angry, don't sin by nursing your grudges. Yes. Don't let sun go down with you still angry. Get over it quickly. Uh, okay. Right. So misunderstandings can come in our lives, all right? But get over them quickly. Differences of opinion, ideas will come. Yes. If you are angry, don't nurse it. And allow it to grow. But get over that quickly. And what will help you is humility. All right. Yes. I will take a little more time with you privately. All right. The other thing that I would like to share with you is, you know, Colossians chapter 3 and verse 19. Colossians Yes. You know, as you are part of that virgin that God has promised to Christ, you need to live a life free from these things as we read in the word. Do not be angry and continue to nurse it. Or as we read in Colossians 3 verse 19. Hey, but you, yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Be not bitter. As being part of that virgin company, in your family life, don't be bitter in your heart. Now, uh, let me read from yes, jaldi, jaldi. Colossians chapter 3, 19, I'm reading from another translation. It says, Husbands, love your wives 
एंड डू नॉट बी हार्श विद दे रिलेशनशिप ग्रोइंग इन यूनिटी एंड अंडरस्टैंडिंग आपको डू नॉट बी हार्श विद दे अपने Ephesians chapter 4 again we read there be patient with each other making allowance for each other's faults because of your love be led together by the holy spirit to be at peace with one another Ephesians chapter 4 verses 2 and 3 yeah अर्थात सारी दीनता और नम्रता सहित और धीरज धरकर प्रेम से एक दूसरे की सहल और मेल के बंधन में आत्मा की एकता बनाए रखने का बी पेशेंट विथ ईच अदर एक दूसरे के प्रति मेकिंग अलवेंस फॉर ईच अदर फॉल्स मेकिंग अलवेंस अलवेंस और एक दूसरे की जो गलतियां हैं उनको करने की गुंजाइश छोड़ो यस बिकॉज ऑफ योर लव और अपने प्रेम के कारण यस बी लेट टूगेदर बाय द होली स्पिरिट और अपने प्रेम के कारण पवित्र आत्मा के द्वारा फिर से बी एट पीस विद वन अनदर एक होने के लिए प्रेम करने के लिए और एक दूसरे से शांति के संबंध आने के राइट बी लेट टूगेदर बाय द होली स्पिरिट और पवित्र आत्मा आपको पुनः to be at peace with one another you know so it's very important to allow the holy spirit to bring in that unity and that peace with one another to isliye bahut zaruri hai ki hum pavitra atma ko jagah de ki wo pavitra atma mein agwai karke hum us shanti aur ekta ke sambandh mein punah aaye yes now this is very important now we know in the life of ananias and sapphira और देखते हैं कि अनन्यास और सफीरा के केस में देखें टू वनस वो एक तो हो गए बट नॉट इन द होली स्पिरिट लेकिन वो पवित्र आत्मा में एक नहीं राइट दैट वनस वाज नॉट ऑफ द होली स्पिरिट वो उस चीज में एक भी जो पवित्र आत्मा का नहीं दे वर नॉट लेड बाय द होली स्पिरिट वो झूठ बोल रहे हैं पवित्र आत्मा उनके अंदर नहीं थी टू बी पीस एट पीस विद वन अनदर और पवित्र आत्मा ने भी उनको आपस में एक होकर शांति में आने में उनकी सहायता नहीं की इट वॉज देम सेल्स वो दे वेल अगेंस्ट द होली स्पिरिट ये सर नो वो पवित्र आत्मा तो ये कहता है कि संपत्ति कहीं से सो वन थिंग आई वुड लाइक टू से वेन यू आर ओपन टू द होली स्पिरिट ही विल ब्रिंग यू इन टू यूनिटी एंड पीस तो जब आप पवित्र आत्मा के लिए खुले होंगे तो आपको एकता विच विल बी द प्रोडक्ट ऑफ द होली स्पिरिट और वो शांति और एकता पवित्र आत्मा यू नो दैट इज दस एंड पीस वी नीड इन द फैमिली और ये पवित्र आत्मा के द्वारा उत्पन्न और एक जगह लाइफ में इस शांति और एकता को हम इट इज वेरी सैड दैट मेनी ऑफ आवर ओन पीपल दे डोंट सीख the holy spirit and oneness and peace that would come from the lord in the family kai parivar aise hain jo parivar mein shanti aur ekta ko chahte hain lekin pavitra atma parmeshwar aur uske vachan ke kaare ke dwara jo shanti aur ekta aani chahiye usko nahi dhoonte hain i would urge you don't make those mistakes isse yahan se nirdesh dunga ki okay. aise galti be open to the holy spirit or seek the lord and where you need help be open For input into your family life. Or is we have permission to go there. Or where you feel that we need to make some changes, we need to make some changes. So you, the elder, the spiritual person, can bring some inputs to your family life. You know. So be careful in this area. Unity and peace has to be through the Holy Spirit, not our fleshly agreements. It doesn't last long. तो इसलिए हम परिवार में शांति और एकता पवित्र आत्मा के माध्यम से आनी चाहिए आपसी समझ से अगर हम कुछ करने कोशिश करेंगे तो ज्यादा देनी चाहिए प्लीज रिमेंबर दिस यू आर कॉल्ड टू बी पार्ट 
of that bridal company a virgin that is to be presented to Christ kyunki hame us dulhan wale samuh ka bhav hona hai jisko ki masi ko jo dosh wale ke upar prasthit kiya gaya hai the other thing that i would like to move on quickly is we dare not presume that god is obligated to bless our marriage because you know we saw the lord god's will we have done we dare not presume that god will bless he is obligated to bless us to hum ye puro anuman lagate nahi baith jaye ki kyunki parmeshwar ki itni ichha se ki kitne saal ko prarthna ke baithe hue prarthna karte hain ki ichha mein shaadi hui hai to prabhu to you know that god is obligated to bless our marriage with happiness and success and so on and so forth aur khushi safalta sab humko milegi apne aap ke liye ye maan lo we are to honor him amen hame vivah ke baad bhi uska aadar karna continually lagatar you know so your marriage is not a matter of happiness to isliye vivah hamari aapsi khushi ka mudda nahi happiness depends on happenings aur khushi ghatnao pe nirbhar karti hai somebody gave you a gift bahut acha thi isliye ne koi upahar diya aap khush ho gaye tanga bad gaya happy increment lag gaya bahut khush ho gaye so happiness depends on happenings to kai baar hamari khushiyan things are happy things are happening happy रिमेम्बर हैप्पीनेस इज नॉट फॉर अस तो ये ये खुशी हमारे लिए द बाइबल सेज द जॉय ऑफ द लॉर्ड इज अवर गॉड स्ट्रेंथ क्योंकि बाइबल ये कहती है कि प्रभु का आनंद है यू नो जॉय कैन ओनली कम व्हेन देयर इज ओबीडियंस और वो आनंद प्रभु का सिर्फ तभी आएगा जब आगे करें तो फॉर द जॉय दैट वाज सेट बिफोर हिम व्हाट डिड ही डू ही सफर राइट एंड ही ओबे द फादर्स वेल हम मसीह के लिए रुद्राणी की पत्नी में पढ़ते हैं तो सर में पढ़ते हैं कि जो आनंद प्रभु यीशु मसीह के आगे था उसको पाने के लिए उसने तभी टुडे एवरीबॉडी वांट्स ओनली हैप्पीनेस और आगे बढ़ना हैप्पी हैप्पी as but the joy of the lord when you obey the lord regardless of the consequences rejections misunderstanding ye wo when you obey i tell you there's a joy nobody can take it away from you to jo prabhu ka aanand hai ye bhai ka pratyaksha ho raha ho bhai jo ke parishan ho pareshaniyan ho aage aage ka ke karan aage mate ka सिस्टम ने गाना भी गाया नहीं गाया लेकिन गाने के बारे में बताया यू नो सो इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट द जॉय कैन ओनली कम व्हेन देयर इज ओबीडियंस टू द लॉर्ड तो ये आनंद प्रभु का आनंद हमारे पास कभी आएगा यस प्रभु के प्रति आगे करेंगे सो आई वुड एनकरेज यू डोंट लुक फॉर यू नो एंड प्रेज्यूम दैट God is going to, you know, He's obligated to bless. We waited. Pandemic came. Still, we waited. And finally, it's all done. Now, Lord, why this? Why that? Remember, God is not obligated. We must continue to seek His will, obey His will. He will be with you, right? Okay. So, is he? Ah, ye na sochi ki permission. Prabhu ki will mein shaadi hui hai. इन द डेज ऑफ जीसस क्राइस्टिफरेंट आइडिया they measured somebody's life by external things aur wo parisi log kisi bhi vyakti ke jeevan ko jaanchte the ke baahri cheezon ke aadhar a person's spirituality was measured by his earthly prosperity aur kisi vyakti ki aadhyatmikta ko mapa jata tha uske duniyavi jo samriddhi tha ya sambandhta thi uska you know i'm not going to read those scripture portions for want of time i know some of you are very 
already feeling hungry. I'm sure that brother uh, Suresh and Tina, they want to hear more, but not all, all of us. <laughs> yeah. But let me quickly say that in the days of the Lord, the Pharisees had a different idea about spiritual life. You know, if somebody was poor, they thought he must be a sinner. If somebody was poor, they thought he must be a sinner. If one was sick, they always thought he must be, he must have done something wrong in his life. You can see John chapter 9, 1 to uh, 1 onwards, you can read there. But I'm not reading. So we see that many are of the same mind even today. Spirituality is measured by outward evidences of prosperity. Luke chapter 16 we read. Yes. But remember, you as God's children, we as God's children, we are not to go by this Pharisee style. Amen. Amen. We need to go by God's word. We are recipients of His grace in our lives. You know what is grace? Unmerited favor. Amen. We never deserved it, but God poured out on us. From the beginning till the end, we live by the grace of God. Amen. So our blessings in your married life is not because of this and that, but because of His grace on your life, Amen, and your life that you have offered unto God. You know, so it is not by any legalistic pattern of things, but purely by the grace of God, and your life of obedience to His word in your life. Amen? And the word of God says, God resisted the proud and giveth grace to whom? The humble. You know, and remember one other thing before I close is many are presumptuous, you know, and they think that, well, we are married in the will of God and so there will be no difficulties and sufferings. And remember, we are living in a fallen world. Fallen world. world. Yes. A world that is fallen, you know, in and through sin. Yes. Satan attacked the first marriage and brought in sin. Hmm. Yes. And we see what sin brought into family as we read Genesis chapter 3. The consequences that came upon the first family. Yes. So remember that. We are living in a world and there will be a lot of situations where our marriage also will be affected by this fall of men. Yes. Yes. 
right? But remember that in the midst of that, there are glorious promises of God. You know, a great restoration that God has promised, okay? Though we are living in a fallen world, and the consequences thereof, remember there are tremendous promises of God's restorative work in the earth. Romans chapter 8, I would like to read them quickly, verses 18. For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. Amen. Okay. Suresh and Tina. All right. For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time, all right, we are living in a fallen world, there will be situation, there will be circumstances, there will be trying times in our lives, but, amen, what does the word of God say? It is nothing compared. Yes. 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 For the earnest expectation of the creature waited for the manifestation of the sons of God. For the creature was made subject to vanity, not willingly, but by reason of him who had subjected the same in hope. Because the creature itself shall... Uh, also shall be delivered from bondage of corruption in the glorious liberty of the children of God. For we know that the whole creation groaneth and travaileth in pain until now. And not only they, but ourselves also, who have the first fruits of the Spirit, even we ourselves groan within ourselves, waiting for the adoption to win the redemption of our body. For we are saved by hope, and hope that is seen is not hope. What a man seeth, why doth he hope for? Amen. Right? I'm quickly going. We won't read it in Hindi for want of time. Remember, there's a great restoration, right? Right? There's a great restoration. So, yes. Yes. Yeah. There's a restoration of all things. But we go through some sufferings now. We are part of this fallen world. We know that, that our soul man is yet to be changed. Yeah. Quickly. So, we are going to go to the next level. Yes. You know, we will be, the Lord will restore everything. You know, so we must continue to have that hope in our hearts. You know, when we go through situations, you know, remember God's great promise to your life. That there is a restoration. Amen. You are called to be part of that great purpose of God. The whole creation is groaning, and we ourselves also. So remember, our sufferings are only for a time. Yes. When we live upon this earth, there will be adverse reactions from others. Yes. Rather than a favorable response, many a time. Yes. One Peter. I'm going to close. Chapter 2, verse 12. Having your conversation honest among the Gentiles, that whereas they speak against you as evildoers. Against whom? 1 Peter 2, verse 12. You got it? Suresh? 1 Peter 2, 12. Having your conversation honest among Gentiles that whereas they speak against you as what? 
good brother good sister what a wonderful family but evil doers so when you live godly amen when you live unto christ when you are obedient to the lord this is a remark we may get in this fallen world they speak you or comment you as evil doers to is patit sansar mein jab hum dharmikta ke sath jeete hain nyay ke sath jeete hain to ye sansar hamare burai karta hai hame pukar bhi dete hain yes they may by your good works they shall be whole which shall be which which they shall behold glorify god in the day of his visitation of visitation taaki ye tumhare bhale kaamon ko dekhkar unhi ke karan kripa drishti ke din yes. parmeshwar ki mahima so i want to say in closing remember suffering and rejection misunderstandings will come when you live godly please गॉडली लाइफ इसके लिए आप दोनों से ये निवेदन करना चाहूंगा कि आप एक शुद्ध और भक्ति देन ए कंफर्टेबल लाइफ और फिर एक आरामदायक जिंदगी अमेन अ लाइफ ऑफ कैरेक्टर देन कंफर्ट और आराम की बजाय एक चरित्र का जीवन अमेन अमेन व्हेन वी गो थ्रू सफरिंग्स रिमेंबर आवर फेथ इज प्यूरिफाइड we come into character in our lives to jab aap parishan se hote guzarte hain dukhon se guzarte hain to dhyan rakhiye ki aapko dukh to bahut jhela padta hai par aapke aapke charitra ka shuddhi hota hai yes so remember that in our married 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 life there will be storms there will be situations but as we heard so glorious expectation of a restoration of all things लेकिन ध्यान रखिए कि हमारे जीवन में in this body aur us samay hum dehen mein hote hain remember but we are grown in for a greater life to be manifested through us aur hum ye bhi yaad rakhe ki wo us samay hum jo unnati kar rahe hote hain hum unnati kare ko ek so aur bhi bade jeevan when you live a righteous life godly life remember adverse situations will come reactions will come याद रखिए जब आप भक्तिपूर्ण और धार्मिकता तो आपका रॉक बिल्ड ऑन द सैंड इसलिए आप उस समय हताश ना हो आशा न छोड़े दो निर्माण करता हूँ और वचन में लिखा है कि जो घर मसीह की चट्टान और मसीह यीशु के व्यक्तित्व के ऊपर खड़ा था वो नहीं गिरा बट दर फैल लेकिन दूसरा लॉर्ड डज नॉट से इफ द रेन के और वचन में ये नहीं लिखा हुआ है कि यदि बारिश आएगी यदि नहीं बोला बट इट से वेन लिखा है जब जब बारिश आएगी हो सकता है अभी कोई बारिश नहीं आएगा एक साल का बाद आएगा हो सकता है दो साल का बाद आएगा शादी होने के अभी बहुत गलत बात है लेकिन द बाइबल से वेन वचन में लिखा है जब 
remember that okay not if it will come but the question is when will it come but remember this house will stand you know you know why not only the foundation he is the builder Amen. So finally I want to say, allow God to build your family life. Amen. That's what I want to close today. Build your life, your family life, let him do that work. Okay. And now when it begins? Today. It begins right here as you yield yourself to God's word and the pledges and vows you will make with his soul. Amen. And God bless you with wonderful presence. Remember, we cannot take anything as an obligation from God. Yeah. We cannot presume to ignore Holy Spirit and His Word we have received in our lives. Remember, you are part of that virgin that Father has promised for Christ. In the local church, you must be committed growing, encouraging members. Amen? Suresh, please. Sister Tina, God help you. Shall we all stand up in His presence? Yes. Thank you. We are going to pray. Now it will not take much time. It will be very fast. Let's all pray together. Shall we all pray together? Those of us who are married, married in this very fellowship, let's really look to the Lord and be open for God to correct us, change us, and cleanse us of our attitudes, the forgotten commitments to Christ, the forgotten principles of God, the forgotten vows we made to God and to one another, and even those perhaps not married here in this fellowship, but your husband and wife, your success is not that you have children and grandchildren, his success is not that you have houses and cars. But what did God receive of you? To what measure his testimony and name. Not your prosperity. Not your natural blessings. But what measure God's kingdom. His character. The church. And Christ. Relationship has been shown to the world outside us. Hallelujah. So may God help us today to repent and bring our lives to the Lord. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this time. Thank you for your word. Thank you for all that you have conveyed to those who are open to you. Lord, here are these two young lives. And this occasion you gave to all of us to hear your counsels. This heavenly thought has been brought to the earth realm today. It is no more heavenly. It is no more divine. Marriage has become an earthly institution. Something of man, something of the soul. But in the midst of that, Lord, you will have a people who will uphold your testimony. You will have a people who will fulfill your word. Hallelujah. What a challenge for us, Lord. What a challenge for my young brother and sister. And all the young ones who are yet to be married. And those who are married, Lord, and not able to keep our vows and, and pledges we have made to you. Lord, forgive us, cleanse us, change us. 
Lord, at this time we pray for Suresh and Tina. Father, we pray you will help them. In the light of the word that they have received today, they may be able to make their pledges, their commitments, their vows to you and to one another. And even before this body of believers, we are here, O oh God, to witness their vows, their pledges. Lord, you will call us one day as witnesses. Yes, we God. Father, pray that you would help us. That we, that we will be faithful witnesses. Even to help our dear brother and sister. To remind them lovingly of their commitments and vows. So Lord, we commit them both into thy loving hands. Let these foundations be laid today. And let it be a progressive work. You are the builder. You are the foundation. You are the superstructure. Therefore we pray. Lord help them. We commit them both into the loving hands. And we commit all others. Many of our young brothers and sisters. Who are yet praying and seeking you about marriage. Help them to prepare themselves. In the light of your word. Yes Lord God. We thank you for this time. Father, lead us further. Let your word and the Holy Spirit join these lives together today in the holy wedlock. Anoint, Lord, and join this life together in the power and the authority of thy word. Holy Spirit, this is not the work of man, Lord, but the work of your spirit.